right, so before we can go save Sanji and apparently split, split the crew up for funsies, um, Jack is just attacking Zoe. And yeah, that's about it, actually. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And uh, we're nearing the end of Zoe here. As like I said, Jack is just launching cannonballs at this ancient elephant. I apologize for sharing the name. And Luffy and Momonosuke seem to hear what I believe is the elephant, Zunisha. The elephant like pleading with them to command it. Gonna hop into this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Oh. What? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, we didn't. Again, in Fishman, they said Roger had the same ability. Odin did too. Heard a lot of voices, I couldn't get it to respond. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Yes, we've already known that Roger had a similar sort of uh, ability. I don't even know what you'd call it. Interesting. But what designates? Oh, but Odin. Wait. Odin and Mo Odin was Momo's father, right? So Odin could, and it's hmm, interesting. I assume Momo's is a relation, but Luffy isn't related to Roger. And again, I kind of already cut out the entire possibility of it being, oh, Zoro just clean with it. Yeah, it's time to see Rizo pop off a little bit. I've already kind of cut out the possibility of it being like the middle initial D, because if that was the case, then Law would be able to hear it. I mean, I have to remember. Something's happening to Zunisha. I don't remember. They're not even in the picture. Like, they don't know that it's being attacked. It's easy for me to be like, guys, like, do something. But they're just lost. They think the elephant's just freaking out. Momo's tripping balls, man. Are we going in his head? Oh, we are, I think. What is that? What? Oh, he can see Jack's ships. Wait, he can, like, see. Oh, my gosh. Like, through the elephants? Like, vision? That's insane. It's more than just a voice. It's a, you can see visuals. What? And he saw it before Luffy. Well, at least they know like they're they're in the, the loop now. This ability is insane though. I never die, baby. <laughs> Luffy's like, what? How did I not? If he's alive, that's good for we have we have someone to take down. What are they gonna do? Like, how do you get down to ships carefully while uh, while he's attacking Zo? Like, there's a pretty high risk of falling off. Although they've lived here for so long, they probably have some good strategies. All oh, the kids are grabbing onto the tree. They're gonna have to command the, the Zunisha, like it said. Aww. You'll die. He's like actually concerned about all of them. That is what he's saying. That's the eye looking out. Oh my gosh. Dang. For the first time we see its eyes. And that's how Momo's able to see him. That's insane. Mm-hmm. I got it all figured out already, baby. Don't worry about it. It's gonna make them command it because I don't think like that's why they like they're like let's go get him, and then they fell like immediately. It's showing it's it's literally they have to do something. Like, they have to have it do something, and I think it's the display that Momo and Luffy have this power to command a giant creature. I, for why? I I don't I don't know. Oh my gosh! Every time it does, it's communicating with. Oh, a long time. The elephant committed a crime? Wait, this is a punishment? Oh my gosh. Oh, who enforces this punishment? What was the guy pushing the stone permanently up the mountain, Sisyphus? This elephant is doomed to walk forever. Give me permit. It needs permission to attack, I think. But why are they the ones that are able to give it permission? Like, what what leverage do they hold? What what authority do they hold? Momo and Luffy. Oh, it's falling! No shot, guys! Please, dude, this is insane. This is insane. Just say it. Say it now, please. Oh, shout out Robin. Oh my gosh. Momo, Luffy, what of you, please, bro? Then give him permission! What do you mean? What are you supposed to do? That's pretty cut and clear, man. Your, wait, what? His will and Luffy's won't? Doesn't matter, just say it! 
Momo was trained by Toei. Really stretched his bad boy out. Pick up the anticipation. Shout it, child! Every second he does it, like 20 more cannonballs hit. Dude, the elephant's cry is so sad. <laughs> That's okay! Oh, he, he even real sound. Dang, dang, bro! My boy's got pipes! No, no, not. Tell him to fight! Give him permission! Yes, sir! That's kind of permission, right? Again, what gives him this authority? Just the ability to hear him in the first place? So we'll just try to step on Jack now? <gasps> Bro. Bro, I don't know. If I were Jack, screw I'd be goddamn terrified. Petrified. Wait, it's resetting. It's correcting. Now what? I just want to see it pick its leg up slowly and raise it over them. <laughs> Jack, I'd be terrified if I were you, man. Wait, where is it moving? What's it doing? Wait, what? Oh my god, the leg is enormous, bro. Is this gonna kick it? Kick them? Or it could ram it with the horns or the tusks? Dude, this shot. Or it could just like sit on them? Bro, bro, oh my gosh. They are so royally fucked. It's gonna whip them. Oh, shoot. You better dodge. Oh my. Oh my. Where are you running? Where are you running? Oh my gosh! Jack's like fing dumb, man. I'm trying to figure it out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Bro! He's dead! Oh shit! Oh my gosh! He's sending them to Kingdom Come! Oh, Jack's dead. Oh my gosh, he's dead. I'm dead, bruh. No shot. That's all it took. A trunk swing. And they're just obliterated. The entire fleet. <laughs> I'm dead, bruh. I'm dead. Wait, and he just keeps walking now? <laughs> like nothing happened. We're not going to talk about it, Zunisha? <laughs> uh, guys? Oh, this village is destroyed now, too. And you guys are going to have a damn banquet. So you can't hear. Hmm. It's only whenever they, it wants you to hear it or they want you to hear it. Like. Hmm. A report. Oh, that's why he said, oh, no. Why does he seem concerned still? Is the elephant fine? He saw the whole thing. Then why does he sound like they're like still there? Like the, the Jack's crew is still there. It's an animal. You can inherently like control it. No, but they are related. So that probably has something to do with it. Yeah, Jack's dead. Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. I was a bad guy, man. Luffy, their homes were just obliterated. Can we still ask why he was after Rizo? Good luck with that. <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> He's stalking up. He doesn't have a chef anymore. A cook. Hold. Pause, champ. Snowy, icy. Have we seen this before? Who is that? I think this pants look familiar. Oh, Kaido. Wait, that, that was Kaido? Why it looks so small? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's going to be pissed. He's Papa's Angie. No, that wasn't Kaido's legs, though. In the cell? Oh, it's Kid. Oh, no. I see his metal arm, bro. He's got Kid locked up. This, this is Apu's phone. So when he landed, he just bodied them and put them in cage. Oh, dog. 775. Let's go. A flying squirrel. How, how is there another problem? Musa Toby. One of the legs. I'd imagine there's like prolonged damage. Oh, they have to go patch him up. Chopper. Cho I like how he got the chopper. They actually have to patch him up. I mean, it makes sense. Like Jack said, the elephant is super ancient and it is still an elephant. Oh, no. 
It's struggling to even stand. A lasting problem. I can't believe I'm dead, bro. I can't believe it. I mean, they should definitely save the elephant. It saved them. Ninja Pirate Mink Samurai Lion. It just does not roll off the tongue, man. We need a better name. I like how Law is just along for the ride now. He's just about it. Hey, you're not just gonna leave the elephant hurting. Yeah. I feel like we shouldn't just rely on Peckham's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, the cuts the page row, bro. Oh man, they're getting ready to set off. They're learning from my boy, the, the prodigy doctor. Absolutely not. Smartest in the world. Unbiased. His giggle. He's so cute. Is she gonna stitch them together with her arms? Needle woman? Oh, no, she, no, she's stitching them together with her arms, but not in the way I was kind of assuming. I don't know why I thought she would like wrap them together with her arms. She'd have to pull them out eventually. I'm so smart. I'm so intelligent. It's exhausting. Oh, it'll look so cute. Just one big bandage on the leg. What is he teaching them? Oh my gosh, how to just obliterate tree. Brooke, they, there's no way they can follow you. I'm sorry. He's just he's just flexing a little bit. And they still, they assault him. My boy. Okay, don't burn them down, Kinemon. Brother! Just up. Why does he have a little, tea, a little a teapot thing? I don't know what to go with that. But it's like an elephant too. It's kind of cute. Kinemon just burns down all of Zo. You know, come to think of it, since everything started occurring here, it hasn't done like the flood thing in a while. Classic. <laughs> Finally, someone tells him. Oh my, this is so meta. He's gonna move all the way. He moved the one and Zoro. <laughs> oh gosh. Gotta feel a little disrespectful. Big Mom's headquarters. Oh gosh, man. More than a week. Oh, Y'all gotta book it there. When is the wedding? Or, sorry, the tea party. Are we playing along with this, man? Really? Oh. Wada still really wants to help them. Oh. Hmm. Small ice island. What does she realize? The way the clouds move? Oh, a storm? What? What is happening? How could more things go wrong? We haven't even left. It's so, it's so wholesome, man. Like scenes like this. The master ship, ship builder, master craftsman. Oh my goodness gracious. Look how beautiful. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't. The Kajiro is so so damn funny, bro. His creations, his hideous parrot thing. It didn't even like introduce it. Just slowly comes in the frame. It's so funny. I think Nami just sees like an oncoming storm that they're gonna have to deal with. A what? Silent super so Yeah, what are the odds, man? Like on the island? Oh my gosh, man. Everything's just going wrong. Oh, it looks like such a great process, though. Like, it's going so well. <laughs> Chopper hard at work. Oh, it's so sweet. I'm sure he appreciates it, Dr. Chopper. Mm hmm. Yep. Animal instinct. It's funny because I still see Chopper as like a work in progress, but she sees him as like the end goal. Now, like so many doctors like look up to him. It's it's very cute. Kind of like the way that Chopper saw like Hog back. It's crazy to think about. Can the elephant just walk away from the silent supercell? Bro, what? Uh, why does it look like that? Yeah, I feel like they're even too late to warn them about this. They already know that it's bad. Imagine just all of them perish. An incredible twist. More, more KIAs than Jack could have ever achieved. 
that a boy Usopp? This is it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh. Well, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought all five of them were just about to perish like that. Would have been kind of dark. Um, Mr. Zunisha, would you mind stepping out of the silent supercell? So I think it's just like wrapped. Oh, this is the gondolas are wrapped around the legs. That makes sense. That makes sense. He just grabbed onto the other side? Listen, man, he just comes in clutch time and time again. Why does Robin look just like a buttery in random scenes? Like her skin looks all buttery. Actually, I know why. No, I know why. Dude, that is a billion hands. Oh my gosh. That's like the most I've ever seen her do, actually. Chopper with no hat! Oh my gosh! Back! Back! Yeah, the one place that hasn't collapsed. Uh, everything else has. Don't take too much, Luffy. Please, man. Bro is just piling it in. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. He's like, yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. Completely forgot about Brooke's entire... God... She knows about God Usopp? How? I'm gonna be honest. He's probably just telling everyone. I forgot about Brooke's entire, like, famous arc. Bro, she is glazing Luffy like mad and realizing he's not listening to a single word she's saying. Oh, oh just asking straight up. Oh, Peckham's. He did not even hear her ask if, if she can come with. <laughs> I like her, her ears like perking up. Oh, Luffy. Banana. I'm sorry, did we make it out of the supercell? Oh, they just went back down afterwards. Yeah, you can say Luffy did a lot, but it was mostly Robin. Yeah, thank you. That guy just wanted an excuse to hug Nami. I don't even know about twice. It's probably been like three or four times at this point. I would say bringing Kinemon here counts like, so much. Oh, I know that music. That's departure music. Oh, she really wants to leave. No choice. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why she saw the bananas. He's so cute. No choice to what? And with that, it appears that we are slowly but surely sort of wrapping up Zoe and off on our next adventure. But this is one like, I, I, I would say after Dress Rosa, I was very questionable about where we're heading next. But Zoe has really, I feel like, outlined a lot of what's next for the Straw Hats and the big plans for everything. Heading into the new world, we had no idea what to expect. Punk Hazard was such, so random. Dress Rosa, we were kind of thrown into it from Punk Hazard. And then setting out of Dress Rosa, we knew about like, his connections like Adolfo Flamingo's connections with Kaido and whatnot but not where it would lead us but having Sanji taken off to where Big Mom is and then all this connection with like Kinemon and all of them and them asking them for help genuinely has set up basically two separate battles with two separate emperors and I feel like this is the heftiest ask of the Straw Hats that we have seen thus far but I love that the stakes feel that high and that we actually have a general idea of what's next to an extent I mean of course there's going to be I'm guessing just random plot twists and everything along the way but we have an idea of what we want to get done and where we need to go especially for the the road poneglyphs and i like that we aren't uh, as left in the dark right now because a lot of one piece is sort of the the show hiding its hand not wanting you to know what's going on although i'm sure it's still hiding quite a bit from us but what a cozy episode of them kind of giving back to the elephant that's carried them all this way but still very uh cool little seeds planted with uh momo and luffy being able to hear the elephant of course and I, i'm gonna kind of keep in the back of my mind the fact that it was commanded to to walk forever as a, as a pardon for its crime i guess because like who is able to do to do that who is the authority but that's been it for my reaction today i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like on this one and i'll catch you next time peace peace